You know, when you work in the woods and in the trees like I do, there's a lot of things that you've got to be really careful of. Just going out in the woods, you got to be careful of things like, well, in my area, we got rattlesnakes. We also have yellow jacket nests. Oh my God, you step on a yellow jacket nest, so you're really, really suffering. We've got uh, poisonous spiders, black widow spiders and brown recluse spiders and all kinds of things that you got to be careful of. But there's another really big problem that I want to address today, and that is ticks. Ticks carry Lyme disease. Now you may say, oh, we don't have Lyme disease in our part of the country, and that's BS. We got Lyme disease everywhere, every state in the country. I believe every state has Lyme disease. Maybe Hawaii doesn't, but my daughter Shelby has been suffering with Lyme disease for the last seven or eight years. She got it when she was a junior in high school and we took her to the doctor when she started showing some very serious symptoms and the doctor said she had fibromyalgia. He tested her for Lyme, but he said to us, we don't have Lyme in California. And we didn't know at the time, we said, okay, we don't have Lyme. He said she has fibromyalgia and started treating her for that. It took a year and a half of her getting worse and worse for her to do her own research and say, Dad, I really think I have Lyme disease. So it turns out that that test that she took produces false negatives. So what is a false negative? It's when the test says you don't have Lyme disease, but you really do. And it's a fairly simple test. It's a blood test that they check in the lab and it's fairly inexpensive. And that's what the doctors recommend. But it oftentimes says you don't have it and you actually do. So what I want to really talk about more importantly than, you know, some of these details is, is being careful and what to do if you do get a tick. There's a, a simple way of determining if the tick is infected with Lyme disease. And there's lots of places that you can send the tick. What you do is you put it in a plastic bag and you try to keep it alive if you can. Uh, put a little bit of uh, paper towel with a little bit of moisture in there. And it's an inexpensive test. It's only about $15. And that'll tell you simply if they've got something to worry about with that particular tick. If you don't find the tick and you suspect that you've got a problem, uh, sometimes you'll have what they call a bullseye rash. But not always. Only about 70% of the time does that circular rash show itself around the bite. That's an indicator. But if you don't have the rash, that still doesn't mean that you don't have the, the disease. So another really very, very important thing that I want to talk about is how this disease emulates other diseases. Fibromyalgia was what my daughter was treated for. And for a year and a half, it did absolutely nothing for her. Once we got her on a different protocol of different drugs and different antibiotics, she started getting a little bit better, but she's going to have Lyme for the rest of her life. Her symptoms are serious. It's affected all of her joints. She's very weak. She's lost a lot of weight. Um, it's gotten into different organs. She now is uh, having grand mal seizures. Uh, it got into her heart. It got into her brain. You know, she has this brain fog sometimes that she just can't think clearly. And it's all because of the Lyme disease. We're working hard at it, really, really working hard at it. But there's a lot that you can do. And paying attention and really doing a tick check after you go out in the woods. Um, check your dogs. I mean, dogs are, are notorious for bringing ticks into the house. And all these possibilities can lead to a completely different life. And in some case, cases, Lyme disease can be fatal. But some of, the, some of the other things about it is that Lyme disease emulates a lot of other diseases. As I said before, fibromyalgia is one of the diseases that it emulates. Parkinson's disease. Did you know that there are a lot of people that are being treated for Parkinson's disease that actually have Lyme? Alzheimer's. This is huge. I've got a friend who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and treated for Alzheimer's for several years. And, and the symptoms were very much like Alzheimer's and he was going downhill until one of his friends said, you know, you really should get checked for Lyme. So he did, he did the more expensive test 
and found out that it was Lyme disease and not Alzheimer's. So they, they changed the protocol for his treatment and he still has Lyme disease, but he's no longer suffering the problems of what he believed was Alzheimer's because he's on a, on a program for treating the Lyme. So be really, really careful. You know, this, this uh, disease is often um, poo-pooed by the doctors. They say, we don't have Lyme disease in California, or we don't have Lyme disease in whatever state you're in. Or they'll jump to a conclusion and call it something else. So like I said earlier, I'm a big proponent on not only trying to prevent Lyme disease, but looking out for ticks in general. And check for ticks. Do a tick check frequently if you're out in the woods. You know, check your dog, check, check your body, check your friends' bodies. You know, look for ticks. And when you take a shower, look really, really closely in the shower at the end of the day. And if you get bit by a tick, you know, don't disregard it. You know, be serious. Lyme disease is one of the most serious insect transmitted diseases in the country right now. Yeah, I think they said that we're getting somewhere close to a third of a million new cases every year that they're identifying. And Lord knows how many cases are going unidentified or how many people are dying of alternate diseases that are being treated wrong. That's huge. Now, there's a great documentary that you should go get. It's called Under Our Skin. I think you can find it on Netflix and, you know, just look it up. Under Our Skin. You will thank me for it. It's a great documentary. It's easy to watch. It gives you so much insight into the seriousness of this problem. So, uh, be wary. All right. I'm going to take a bite out of Lyme disease and try to do something about it. Hopefully, by educating a few of you, you won't take ticks for granted. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. You know, if, and if you have Lyme disease, please leave a comment and let me know what's going on with you. I'm, I'm really curious. Um, super serious problem. I, I can't overstate enough how careful you have to be.